a couple months ago, I bought my first pair of Doc Martens 1460s. These boots turned out to be my favorite shoes. If you're thinking about buying some, here are some tips to help you. The first thing is knowing the different materials when it comes to the Doc Martens 1460s. You have the suede, the horse leather, you have the smooth leather, you have the Pascal. There's so many different types, but the ones that I bought was the 1460s made in England. When it comes to finding your size with Doc Martens, they come true to size, meaning that it comes exactly as it says. And also, Doc Martens, they don't do half sizes. The best advice that I can give you is to go to your local store that sells Doc Martens so that you can try them out. Also, I'll say get a size that's snug because the leather will stretch after you break into your Doc Martens. There are so many ways to break into your Doc Martens. Some good, some bad. The usual trouble spots are your ankles and your heels. For me, what I did to break into my Doc Martens was to progressively wear them tighter. I started off wearing my boots very loose just to get used to it. And eventually, now I lace them up all the way and they're perfectly fine. To some people it's weird, but it worked for me and my boots were not ruined. After breaking into my Doc Martens, these have become my most comfortable boots. The air cushion soles are just phenomenal. I feel like I can walk all day with these boots on without any pain. They're very stylish and I love them. Hopefully this helps you out and um, like so that other people can see it. And this video is about my 1460s in the snow. Thank you.